Hi, this is a quick demonstration of Skydive Designer. If you've downloaded the app, thank you very much. If not, you can get it at the App Store for your iPad, uh, iPhone, or for your Mac. Um, I'm going to do a whistle stop tour of the basic functions, and I hope that's enough to show you some of the power of this app. Remember, you can always watch this video again and find all the other tutorial videos by tapping on the help icon in the tools. Let's get started. Click create document, give my document a name, and I'll have four jumpers and I'm happy with the 32 foot tunnel. Click Cowabunga. So the first thing is moving jumpers around. So I can tap on a jumper and I can move them around. Um, now, really importantly, you don't need to tap on the actual skydiver to move them. Once you've selected them, you can tap anywhere on the screen and you can move them around. Okay, so that's moving. Um, then there's rotating. Um, so here's my little wheel. I can rotate the guy. So now we see our little formation selector. So let me take my group. And imagine these guys are out at the edge of a formation and when I want them to move around I'm going to just be able to move that whole chunk around. So my wheel in the center rotates around the center. The wheel that's on the group rotates the group around and I've got an extra wheel down at the bottom right which rotates the individuals and let's bring in a formation where that makes more sense. So we've got a bipole and rotate everybody in the bipole by 180 degrees, you've got the opposite bipole. The multi-select is kind of slightly difficult and an important feature, how you select different people. So let's start off by deselecting everybody with the little uh, X down in the bottom left. And we see the multi-select control, which is here. So I'll turn that off. That means that now it's, if I pick one person, I move one person. Tap on the different person, tap on them. If I want to select multiple people at once, I can either use one finger on the multi-select control and then tap the extra people I want to select. It's one way of selecting everybody. So I'm deselect them now. Or I can double tap on the multi-select. And now I can tap to add people to the group or to take people out of the group. So now I've just got these two and I can move them over here. Okay. So I've cleared the screen and uh, let's uh, bump it up a little bit and build a two-point formation. Um, and we're going to use the symmetry to help build this a lot more quickly. Um, my symmetry picker, I've got kind of face-off, uh, up-down symmetry, left-right, and this four-way symmetry. Um, let's have rotation options, but let's just use this four-way for now. And there will be another video going into all the details on symmetry. It's a really powerful, really useful feature. So drag my one guy out and you can see he's already got his four symmetrical buddies. So I drag out uh, a little formation to go on the back of them and you can see the um, system has figured out who is um, mirrored and who's kind of key. So the red guys are keys that I can drag and control and the faded guys are ones that are kind of automatically mirrored from that, uh, that individual. And let's finish this off. I'm going to deselect everybody, select this one, and um, and you can see their clone over there has flipped into a formation. Okay, we've got a one point formation, that's how we're gonna start. Click the plus point to go to a second point. Um, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this guy out. Um, move, there we go, move these guys out. Uh, let's move my block in and that's deselect, here we go. So here's my, this is my final formation. Multi-select isn't helpful here, so I'm going back to the individual. And this guy uh, is just gonna come over to the side. Okay, so that's my second point. Okay, so we can actually see how that transition works. Um, and 
and use the buttons at the top to go between the points. Looks great. Thanks for watching this far. I hope you enjoy using Skydive Designer. Please do remember to click on the help icon in the top right uh, to watch this video again and to see other videos detailing the other features in the app. And I always welcome feedback. Please click on the send feedback button at any time to send me an email. Thank you.